Hey, hello, welcome back. Uh, a small change I made without real and committed. See, I committed it. I made the pizza abstract. It was just non abstract, just terrible. Uh, <clears throat> I hadn't actually started recording again, so there's that little nice small. Actually, I actually got a nice small isolated change uh, with approval board factoring. So, yeah. And now, <clears throat> I want to refactor a little bit. One, my, this is still called unit test one. That's not a very good name. Let's rename that. I'm just going to call it submergent test because I'm not really sure. I'm just, sometimes I just write test and I want to see what happens. So, but we do have these personal pizza tests. <clears throat> Right, uh, oops, no, I'm just going to copy and paste this over. And we're going to make it a test class. <clears throat> so fantastic, we have that, everything's running. We're actually going to pop over here and commit it. See, see, I renamed and I moved. <sighs> Should not have done that. Should not have done that. Mostly test. Um, when if applied, this commit will rename unit unit test one and boo. Uh, and extract personal pizza tests. I'm actually curious how. Yeah, okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, whatever. Uh normally you want only fifty based off of uh how to write a good commit message, but it's okay. And now we will also extract yeah, I didn't really fix my head yet. Um, <clears throat> so I'm still going to screw up. That's okay, though. We appreciate what we're doing here. All right, and we want to test class. Woo -woo. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and just commit this. We will extract a family pizza test. Class. Fantastic. <clears throat> Go ahead and move these to a folder. I'm going to move both the personal and the pizza tests into tests. There we go. Now, one of the things I, I don't need these anymore. Extracted family will extract, not extracted test classes into test folder. There we go. We have here a little bit of noise. Um, Removed. This will remove on <coughs> usings. Yeah, I mean, lots of little tiny tiny commits. Saves the noise noise when we have to do something big. Now, one of the things here is I have this bit verified, which it does go through, and apparently I'm missing. No. I'm all green. Let's build, see what happens. Interesting. It's not picking them up. Huh. 
well, that's really weird. Jesus, okay, public class. So interesting. So I can run this through a different uh, test runner here. Look at that, we got them picked up. <clears throat> Let's run everything. Let's see if Encrunch. Encrunch isn't picking them up. Hmm, maybe it's just because uh, it's finding an empty test class. It's, Encrunch is not happy about empty test classes. Let's see if this resolves that. Run them all. Huh. I'm I'm not sure why it's not picking up. Well, that's not cool. I need my tests. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That that is really not cool. Alright, let's try this. I've restarted the Encrunch engine. It should be reloading all the stuff, seeing if it works. So, I right, sometimes we gotta fight our tools. It's probably making for a really boring video. Um, all right, there we go. I just gave it a kick, restarted it. Everything is back. So that's fantastic. All right. I don't know if this was a problem, but this does lead me to the next thing that I was going on about. We have tests covering these values out of family and personal. But we don't have a core test making sure that this works right. So that's what I want to do. I want to test my pizza base class itself. And for that, I use a fake. Now I have other ways to do this a lot of the times, uh, but for now, <clears throat> let's do a quick hard-coded fake. And we actually want, uh, Call this price and this description. We generate the constructor. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I expanded the window here so that we can nicely see the pop up that Resharper gives us. So this is going to be testing the price. I'll get to the name in a moment. It's really hacky, hard coded, nothing important. Um, pizza should return provided price. And we're going to basically do the exact same thing. Uh, should return the provided description. <coughs> Which I modified the name before I <coughs> modified the uh, contents. I'm going to be a that's going to be a pain when I actually go through uh, trying to set up test commit revert because I want to and ooh that's going to hurt. But I think it'll be interesting. So that's what we'll do. All right. Now I'm going to toss this somewhere. <clears throat> I tend to like to put this into in my test. Normally I have a, a separate test project and code project. Uh, it's just a quick sample here, so I'm not going to get into that. But I put my fakes into a fakes folder. Um, or mocks, depending on how you want to name things. So now I, I verify my pizza works, I verify my family works, I verify my personal works. Okay. Um, I'm going to update these to be actual dollar amounts. Um, that's fine. 
I don't think that quite meets what I wanted it to do. <clears throat> okay, so one of the things I really look at do at around this, what well, I hate inheritance, but <sighs> concepts. I right, want money. Money is a concept you always want to put into your system. Uh, but let's actually drive that a little bit. Not the oh, test driven development drive, but because we need to. We got toppings. But up. Uh, so let's add some toppings. Um, and you know what? We will do toppings next time. Let's go ahead and commit what we have that we added our fake. This is all test stuff. We'll create fake pizza. And we'll have test for the pizza behavior. All right. So that is all we got through right now. I think that's sufficient. I'm going to see if I can get this in uh, outside of videos as an actual template. So we'll be back.